The history of anatomy ranges from the earliest examination of sacrificing victims to the sophisticated analysis of the body performed by modern scientists. Human anatomy was the most prominent of the biological sciences of the 19th and early 20th centuries. It is characterized by understanding the functions of organs and structures in the body. In medieval times, educated physicians practiced medicine on the foundation of teachings by the ancient Greeks. However, there was dissatisfaction with the level of knowledge that could be obtained, which required fresh biomedical inquiry. Part of this biomedical inquiry was the pursuit of a systematic human anatomy. The ancient Greeks had treated the human body as sacred and refrained from dissecting dead bodies. Common people and the church also felt misgivings about dissection. In 1832, Britain passed the Anatomy Act, which allowed the dissection of dead bodies for scientific purposes. Opposition of dissection slowly dissipated during the Black Death period of the mid-14th century when dissection was used to find the cause of the pandemic. Finally, in 1537, Pope Clement VII accepted the teachings of anatomy by dissection. Italy was the first country to commonly use dissection for scientific inquiry. Dissections were public occasions, leading to the term theater for the observation area in surgery. These performances were not used for research, but instead for teaching. In 1543, the works of Andreas Versalis was huge breakthrough for in medicine when he published his master work on the structure of the human body. His contribution led to creating a new atmosphere of inquiry, anatomical study, on solid foundation of observed, dissected facts. Surgeons in that day used this exact descriptions and illustrations of the muscles, the nerves, the viscera, and the blood vessels for anatomical investigation. The study of anatomy flourished in the 17th and 18th centuries, but only certified anatomists were allowed to perform dissection. To deal with the shortage of cadavers and the rising number of medical students, during the 17th and 18th centuries, body snatching and murder were practiced to increase the number of cadavers available. In the 19th century, anatomical research included histology, developmental biology, and comparative anatomy. In the past hundred years, anatomical research has extended to evolutionary and molecular biology to further understand the body's organs and structures. To save time and money, many schools have gone to using prosections or plastic models to teach anatomy. With recent improvement in technology, schools can also use computer animation and 3D imaging of dissected bodies for instruction. With advances in human dissection and anatomy, only the future knows the next greatest anatomy learning tool.